Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your very own Steve Maze. So just before we start building, here are all of the materials that you will need to make your Steve Maze. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. So the first thing that we are going to do when building our Steve Maze is make the outline of the maze and to do that we're going to want to begin by placing a single grey concrete on the ground. Now we want to do two things with this grey concrete. Number one, we want to extend it all the way to the right by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We then want to extend that seventh block upwards and then we want to come all the way back over to the left hand side and we want to do the same. So we want to take this first block that we placed and we want to extend it upwards. By the way, this entire thing is going to be built from a bird's eye view as in looking down just because it will be a bit easier. We want to extend that grey concrete that stemmed from the very first grey concrete with, that we just placed. We want to extend that going upwards with your blue concrete by 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We then want to go left by 4 using white terracotta. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. We then want to go upwards by 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we want to grab the light blue and we want to go up by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Go right by by four, one, two, three, four. We then want to go up by five using white terracotta. One, two, three, four, five. Place three brown concrete going up. One, two, three. Go right by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go down by two. One, two. Go down by five using white terracotta. One, two, three, four, five. Place a light blue concrete underneath. And we want to do two things. We want to go left by one. Place four white terracotta. One, two, three, four. Go left by one using the light blue concrete. But we also want to continue going right by four using light blue concrete. So that's going to be one, two, three, four. We then want to go down by three. One, two, three. We then want to place eight white terracotta going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go left by three. One, two, three. Place a light blue concrete. And then place blue concrete extending down. So the end result will be this very Steve like outline. It's actually kind of cool. So, what do we want to do from here? Well, we want to make the actual maze pattern inside of Steve. So, the entrance to our maze, there's two of them. You can actually tackle this maze from either side. So, in my mind, we start from the bottom and we work our way up. So, one of the entrances to the maze is going to be all the way down at the base of the feet here. And it's not the first grey concrete block that we place, but the second. This is where we're going to enter the maze. Right of this, we want to take this grey concrete here and we want to place a grey concrete on top of it. Then a blue concrete, extend the blue to the right by three, one, two, three. We then want to leave a rose gap and we actually want to have that same row of four blue, so one, two, three, four. Take the end here, extend up by four, one, two, three, four. We then want to go left by two, one, two. We want to go down by two, one, two and also left one. We want to take the top row of blue and extend it all the way left and that will give you this sort of pattern. So it's a pretty cool squiggly pattern that we have. Okay, come all the way up to the top right hand corner of the pattern that we created and leaving a gap of one we want to place a blue concrete. We want to go left, right and up. We then want to come to the left side of the pattern that we created and we want to leave a gap of one going up and we want to place a blue concrete, one on top, one to the right, two left, two down. Let's make that three down. We then want to take the second block and we want to extend it left. So the pattern will look like this. What we now want to do 
is we will do, we will, coming all the way to the right side here where we placed our blue concrete all the way on the right, we want to on top of this place two light blue, one, two, go left one, leave a gap of one going left and place a light blue, go up by four, one, two, three, four, go right by three, one, two, three. We want to go back on ourselves and we want to take this block here, so we placed a row of one, two, three, four, five. We want to take the third block and go right by five, one, two, three, four, five. And we want to go down one. We want to place two white terracotta going right, one, two. We want to go down two, one, two. We want to just drop down below here where we have this light blue concrete all by its lonesome and we want to extend this up by two, one, two. So this is the sort of pattern that we have. It's a pretty cool looking pattern, quite interesting. And what we then want to do is we want to just move a little bit upwards and we want to take this light blue concrete here that's joined to all of these various things and we want to extend the light blue concrete upwards by one, two, three, four. We want to do two things, number one, we want to just join that block upwards, but number two, we want to go left from this, and we want to place a row of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once again, we want to do two things. Number one, we want to extend this left by two, but then we want to come back and we want to go down by three. So one, two, three. Place two white terracotta going left, one, two, and then one going upwards. Come back to the light blue concrete and extend down by four, one, two, three, four, and then place two white terracotta going left, one, two, like this. So this is the squiggly pattern that you will have in the arm. We want to take this area here and we want to basically find the middle of the area, which is here, and we want to place two white terracotta extending inwards from the left side as to make, once again, the squiggly pattern. We now want to come all the way over to the right hand side of the build. We want to come all the way up towards the top middle part of the arm, which is here. We want to leave a gap of one, and then we want to place two light blue concrete coming down. One, two. And then two white terracotta. One, two. And then right. So, what we will have is this, and that is the body portion of this complete. We now have to move towards the head. So, in my mind, and in Steve's mind, literally, in Steve's mind, the entrance to the, 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 like, the second part of the maze, or the first, depending upon which way you're tackling it, is all the way over on the right-hand side here. So I'm going to leave a gap here, and at, this, at the end of this long corridor, this is how we get inside. I'm going to grab the pink concrete, going to come over to the left here and where we have this very first placed white terracotta we're going to extend up by two with the pink concrete one two going right we leave a gap and place three pink concrete extending to the right we go up by two leaving a gap of two and we place a pink concrete left one down come up extend up left by three down two right one so that is the pattern that we will have uh, the entrance to the maze or the exit depending upon which way you're looking at it is the opposite side of the entrance so all in all this is what we will have why did i make the inside of the head portion pink that is steve's brain <laughs> Um, what do we want to do from here? Well, it's quite easy, really. So, um, we're going to take... First of all, we're going to uh, destroy all of the grass that we have for the... Um, going to destroy all the grass that we have for the maze. And we're going to turn it all white concrete because it, it just looks a little bit nicer that way. Um, the grass is fine. If you like, you can leave the grass. But I just happen to think that the white concrete will be a much better... Uh, it will be a much better flooring. It will make things stand out a little bit more. It's um, it's just like a nice neutral colour. And we've used concrete for everything else, so I don't see why um, we, we wouldn't use concrete just uh, for this last part. So I'm gradually working my way through the maze. And by the way, um, feel free to mix the maze up. But I do think I have done a pretty good job of uh, of making this maze 
quite fun. Um, as I'll show you in a second, like there's only one solution to the maze, of course, you can't go multiple ways. You do have just that one line that you can go. You can't you can't succeed in the maze any, uh, any other way. Um, and we'll actually complete the maze once it's done, I'll, I'll show you, but... Um, the, the maze is really, really cool because there's so many twists and turns the way that it's built like it's it, it could be quite challenging except for the fact that it's quite small so eventually you will work your way through it but there's a lot of fake outs in the maze like this middle portion like where the torso is there's a lot of fake outs so once you get to this point here like um, you can take a right and you can go like all the way up this arm and you'll be walking all the way up through the arm and you'll be like oh wow I must I, I must be in here you know I'm, I've walked so far I'm, I'm definitely gonna get in and then bam you hit a dead end the same thing can be done on the uh, in the middle of the torso as well so if you instead of going into the other arm if you kind of like take the straight path and you can kind of like curl around here like this then you'll also hit a dead end despite the fact that you're really quite close towards the end of the maze here so, but what you have to do is come all the way up this left arm and um, there's loads of twists and turns in here as well like you don't know whether you're gonna have to go back on yourself you don't know that you can just take this kind of like straight straight path all the way up to the top of the body and eventually that will lead you inside the head and the head's also got its uh, own little form of challenges as well although it's quite a small area it's only it's not even eight by eight is it it's a six by six area so um it won't once you have actually hit that point then um you know you, you're definitely going to get it uh, so that's what it looks like. There we go. That that looks so much cooler than just the grass. Uh, all we have to do now is we have to raise up every single block, and we're going to do that by three. So literally, like one, two, three. We want to make the walls quite tall. So one, two, three, like this. We want to make the walls quite tall. Um, you can make them even higher if you like. It, it doesn't really matter um, how high you make it. Um, except in the fact that you don't want to make it too low. Um, it doesn't matter how high you make it, as long as it's not too low. That, that's pretty much um, the, the genesis of this, because um, you could quite easily see um, you know, how, how to get through the maze if you can get high enough. So you can cheat, but you know, assuming that you you want to do it legitimately, assuming that you don't want to you don't want to cheat, like um, if you were going through like a, an actual like corn maze, or if you're going through like a proper maze, like it'd be cheating to like you know get on uh, get on somebody's shoulders and have a good look around from like a bird's eye view. Obviously, that'd be cheating. Um, it's much more fun to actually kind of like just discover the path yourself. Um, if you did want to stop the possibility, because because you're building the maze, you know how it concludes anyway so like i'm imagining if you want to build this then it's probably more so for other people and that's the fun of it so you can have your friends like tackle the maze see how they fare with it um if you don't want to people to see how it is actually completed then you'll just fill the top of the maze in the head's already filled in because i think that that really adds something i think um having steve's head at the top is actually quite cool but if um if you didn't want the solution to be seen from above then you just fill the top of the maze in with like um steve's actual skin it's actually very very easy as um i'll, I'll just kind of like point it out when we get to the end like if you want to make if you just want to fill the statue in i mean all the lines are there for you like um all the detail is pretty much there you wouldn't have to go to too much trouble to actually achieve that and we're just progressively adding uh, adding a row of uh, three on top of everywhere uh, the reason that i chose the number three is simply because most skin statues are in fact um four rows thick so we already had the one plus three is four quick math and uh that's that's all we're gonna that's all we're gonna be doing but feel free to make it uh higher um the head should technically be a bit taller as well um since skin heads usually pop out two rows in front of the body and behind um you could do that if you wanted to but i like the idea of it being flat so um I'd also appreciate it if you could let me know if there is another variety of these that you would like me to make because I was incredibly surprised at how fun it is actually making a maze. 
Um, you know, making the, the Steve skin outline, you know, it's like, ah, you know, I kind of made like a million Steve statues, so it's not, it's not like really a big thing, but making a maze was definitely new, and that, that was quite fun, um, because I did actually, believe it or not, put a little bit of thought into, um, you know, how to actually lay it out a little bit, hopefully that comes across, um, but yeah, I, I did actually put a little bit of thought at, uh, how to lay it out, and I definitely would like to make another one, if there is, um, some sort of maze that you'd like to see, maybe like another skin, and maybe even I could make it bigger, um, or maybe a different variety of, I, d I don't know, I don't know, you, uh, you guys could let me know, I could just maybe, like, make up a, uh, just like straight up, like, leaf maze, as in like a, you know, like a maze that you'd actually get in, in real life, or maybe like a stone maze, kind of like out of the maze runner or something, maybe I could even make kind of, um, Maybe like a parkour course, maybe, so it's got a little bit of parkour in it, maybe. I don't know, but now that we've raised up all of this, by the way, um, that, that looks so much better, it's so much cooler. Um, the only thing that we really do have to do, I, I shouldn't have told you to raise up all of the pink blocks by an additional row, that was a mistake. They only had to be um, raised up by two, but that's... That's my bad. I apologize for telling you to um, raise them up by uh, by three. The pink blocks only had to be raised up by two because now we do have to actually do the head. We'll start from the top and what we'll do is we'll just join the top of the head together using a brown concrete and we'll add another row of brown underneath. We'll then add two rows of white terracotta underneath that. That'll be one and two. We'll add... In this next row, we'll add white concretes on the ends and then blue concretes extending inwards and white terracotta in between. We'll add white terracotta underneath the eyes with brown concrete underneath. We'll then add white terracotta underneath the brown concrete. We'll add brown concrete left and right of the terracotta. White terracotta left and right of the brown concrete extend down by one row brown concrete underneath and finish up by placing a single white terracotta actually that's not white that's supposed to be uh, a blue so just like this and the end result will be Steve's head and we'll still be able to get in there just like that and I don't think that there is anything else at all, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the maze, and I quickly want to just run it um, just before we finish this. So let me let me just run the maze, because I've never actually done it myself. Let me see um, if I can just do it by memory. So we come in the maze here. I think that we immediately take a right. We go ahead. This is kind of fun. Go left. Oh. Uh, ahead. Right. Go through here. We go left. Here, here, we go up the arm, we try and stick to the left hand side, yes, and then we come all the way up here, and then inside the brain area we've pretty much just got to stick to this left wall, and then we get through it. I can't believe it, I actually, uh, I actually did that by memory, that's fantastic, but um, I imagine that would be a lot more challenging, it is a little bit weird, once you're, only because I knew the way, but once you're inside, like, these walls are kind of big, it's like, oh, maybe you go this way, no you don't, so um, that definitely be fun. I'd, I'd definitely love to uh, to have a friend try out that maze. That'd be really, really fun. And just to show you one last time, ladies and gentlemen, this is what your maze will look like once it has been 100% fully completed. So all you would have to do to make it so that nobody can cheat at the maze is simply fill in the lower half with uh, with blue concrete and grey concrete, the torso where you can see the dividations between the light blue and the terracotta, fill those in with the respective colours and then you would be good. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you well, that, that didn't go well. Let's try that again without the falling. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button. I'm just going to get out the maze. Do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me in the channel out very, very much. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything else by me, check out the card system description below in the top of the comment section for more. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.